everyone and welcome to my broadcast. Now, the title of this live stream is Pressure Cooker Witches. Pressure Cooker Witches. What is a pressure cooker witch? A lot of witches right now, even though we have just entered a brand new year, are feeling under pressure. They are feeling like they are going under when in fact they are going over. Which is, listen to me, listen to the high priestess this afternoon, this late afternoon. You are not going under. You are going over. You are going over. You might feel like you are in a pressure cooker about to explode. You're not about to explode. You are applying pressure, which is, you are applying pressure. You are not under pressure. You are not backed up in a corner like a rat. You're not between a rock and a hard place. You are applying pressure. How are you applying pressure? Every single time you do a spell, ritual, hex, or curse, you know because I always talk about this, you have to do your part to make that spell, hex, ritual, curse manifest. There has to be some action in the mundane world for your spell work to manifest as you intend it. You are applying pressure by doing your part to make your spell work come out the way you intend it. You are applying pressure, which is even though I don't care what you are going through, I don't care who's talking to you crazy, talking shit about you, abusing you in any way, shape, or form, I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you right now, you are not going under. You are a pressure cooker witch. You are applying pressure. There is no other group of people on earth that is more committed to real, significant, and permanently positive change. There is no other group besides witches that is committed to real, significant, and permanently positive change. Change that will make a difference, finally, for some of you witches, a good difference in your bloodline. You won't feel like you have to dig yourself out of any hole you might have put yourself in or any hole somebody else have put you in. You are applying pressure. I don't care how far in financial debt you are. I don't care how hearts are broken you are after Valentine's Day. Who cares? You have to apply pressure by choosing, making a choice, even today after the end of this broadcast, choosing to be better. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. You have to choose to be better. If you choose to be bitter, everything in your life will suck like a lemon. Everything in your life will be sour like a lemon. You will be under pressure. You will be going under. And I am not satisfied with any witch going down to the pits of darkness and sadness and grief and sorrow and pain, emotional, mental, physical, psychological. I'm not satisfied with that because no witch should be going through that. People who are not witches go through that shit because they are not witches. They are not like how we are. They are not how we are. So they don't know how to come back from stress. They don't know how to deal with stress like witches do the right way to deal with stress. They don't get it. They don't have the goods. If they did, they would not have such a stressed out life, right? Of course I'm right. Every single witch knows this to be true. Every witch knows this to be true. You are not 
under pressure you are applying pressure every single time you do a spell like for instance every time you do a money spell you might find a dollar ten dollars one time i personally found a hundred dollars at the laundry mat a real hundred dollar bill at the fucking laundry mat a couple of months ago every time you do a spell you always find something related to that spell you always find something related to that spell. That's why I say don't ignore the signs that happen after you've done spell work. I don't care how minimum it is or how you might think, oh, that can't be connected to my spell work. Of course it's connected to your spell work. You ask the deities, Hikate, the gods and goddesses, the, the spirit animals, the familiars, the ancestors that you work with to assist you in your spell work. Don't ignore what comes out of that spell. Do not ignore what comes out of that spell. Apply pressure. Come, keep on applying pressure. Keep on doing your part until what you want out of that spell has no motherfucking choice but to manifest. But to manifest. Stay on it. Stay on that ass. Make that spell manifests. Keep on applying pressure. Keep on listening to your intuition because nobody is more intuitive than a witch, except for maybe a Scorpio because they're a water sign. I'm a Scorpio, so I'm very intuitive. <laughs> but witches are very intuitive. We just are in the know. We just know shit. All right? That's a fact. Okay? Listen to your intuition. Your intuition will apply pressure to you. Your intuition will apply pressure to you. And say, hey, 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 you, you, which, 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 which. Pay attention. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to show you something. You need to listen. You need to shut up. Stop talking so much and listen to me. Your intuition tell you what is connected to your spell. What type of pressure? Should it be a little bit of pressure? A minimum amounts of pressure or go all the way in and keep just push 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 until your manifestation that you want is up against the wall and has no choice but to manifest has no choice but to manifest it'll be non-negotiable it'll be non-negotiable so some witches might feel like you know, their spells are not working. Are you applying pressure? How do you how do you apply pressure? You do your part. You do the mundane work first. Like for instance, again, if you want to lose weight, so you do a spell to lose weight, you have to have a conversation with a dietitian, have a conversation with your doctor, maybe join a gym, maybe just stop eating so much. Let's keep it real, okay? Because you don't get that big unless you eat that big. That's a fact. Right? I'm not trying to fat shame nobody, but I am very honest and as a high priestess, I have to be honest, okay? So that's one way you can apply pressure by doing the mundane work, doing your part. It's never enough to just do a spell and go on your merry way. Oh, everything's fine because I did the spell. It's not fine. If it was fine, you would not have had to do that spell to make everything fine. It's not fine. If everything was fine, you would not have to do that spell to make everything fine. Because everything would be fine, right? Right. Apply the pressure so that spell, ritual, curse, or hex has no choice but to manifest. Has no choice because you, the witch, have pushed it into a corner and your manifestation has nowhere to go but here. As above, so below. As above, so below. The energy you send out is the energy you will get back. The energy you send out is the energy you will get back. It has to happen that way. 
This is not just, you know, metaphysical stuff. This is, um, what is it called? Physics. It's physics. We know that what goes up must come down as above, so below. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. As above, so below. Apply the pressure. You are not under pressure. I know so much is going through a very hard time right now. I see it in the spirit. But you're not going under. You're not underneath a rock. You're not between a rock and a hard place. You're not. Other people are because they're not witches. They don't know how to work with the energy found in nature to bring about real significant and permanently positive change. That's their problem. I'm not interested in them. I'm interested in witches. We are witches, okay? Apply the pressure by doing the mundane work. So much so, that means you keep doing your, even when you have setbacks with doing the mundane work, you keep on doing it. Or you come out, your intuition will give you new ideas how to apply the pressure in a different way so that it can manifest. Even if you're doing something in the mundane world and it's not working, you know as well as I do that insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Your intuition, the gods, the goddesses, hikata, any other deity that you work with will alert you or in a different way to apply the pressure in the mundane world so that your manifestation has no choice but to manifest. It's up to you and you should be backing your manifestation into a wall that failure of that spell, ritual, hits, or curse is not a motherfucking option. You're not going to settle for an F. Shit. You're not even going to, sh to settle for a D minus. Fuck that shit. That's a witch that has failed at the craft. What makes you a witch? Is if your spells, rituals, hexes, and curses work, they do something, something changes. Because you know I always speak up. Also, nothing changes if nothing changes. Something has to give. Continue to apply the pressure. By doing your work in the mind name world, just take away from this broadcast that you are not going under. Actually, you have, as a witch, you have never been under the feet of your enemies or the feet of your haters or some hating ass bitch. Witches have never been under the feet of anybody. They have just been maybe a little bit lazy maybe a little bit ignorant, maybe not knowing how to make their spells, rituals, hexes, and curses actually work. But now actually seeing someone, a real witch like me, talk to you this way and give you the truth and give you facts, not opinions, and give you real information on how to live a more magical filled life. Now you are clued in on how to change your life for the better by simply applying the pressure by doing your work in the mundane world and listening to your intuition in case the, what you do in the mundane world is, is not necessarily happening the way you want to because your intuition will always know what's up before you do. Your intuition will always know what's up before you do. Your intuition is your inner compass. Your intuition is your inner compass. Don't ignore it. Don't downplay it. Don't say, oh, never mind. I don't want to hear that. Um, you're going to listen. It doesn't matter if you want to hear that. You're going to listen. It's up to you. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide what you're going to do with the information that you receive. So I wanted to come on here really quick. I know I don't usually come on here a lot. But I'm going to try to come on later again this evening. So do make sure that you have 
notifications turned on for my page to be notified whenever I do broadcast but I'm definitely going to come on tonight I made the decision just now I'm going to come back on tonight maybe around 7 p.m. So turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my live broadcasts or any of my posts related to all things, especially for you guys, all things witches, witchcraft, hikate, and my regular schedule, humor. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will definitely leave this broadcast up for the replay to let other witches know that you are not going under you have never been underneath the feet of anybody, especially your your enemies or your haters or that hating ass bitch. No, you have always been over the people who want to destroy you. And now you know that to apply pressure is just a more extreme way of doing the mundane work. So I will leave this broadcast up and I will see you guys at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on IG Live. Bye everyone.